the spirit of today's gathering really comes out of the ethical basis of Gandhi's vegetarianism, which has to do with animal welfare and the sanctity of all life, the sanctity of all creation. That's something that we're trying to pay honor to today at this multi-faith celebration uh, from, the, from the Gandhi Foundation, co-sponsored this year by the Animal Interfaith Alliance. We wanted to show that, that's, that the Earth's inhabitants include humans, but are not restricted just to humans. So today's speakers, we had Sheikh Rashad Ali, who's come to tell us about the Islamic viewpoint, really, uh, both its cultural transmission and its theological underpinnings. We had Dr. Martin Hennig today, who's a reverend with, who has a special care for two small Romanesque churches in the west of Oxford, and whose life's work as a clergyman has really been about um, raising the profile of animals' issues, and as he would put it, combating speciesism. Ketan Varya gave us today the Jain perspective on animal welfare in both its spiritual underpinnings and with particular regard to where the situation that factory farming has led us to today. Fergus O'Connor of Golders Green Unitarians and St. Albans Unitarians made a, a, a personal appeal for closer work between the Gandhi Foundation and the Animal Interfaith Alliance. They do no hurt, no harm on all my holy mountain. Reverend Nagazi from the Battersea Peace Pagoda offered a really profound prayer that I think added a special dimension to today's proceedings and enriched us all greatly. Jonathan Fitter, a campaigning Jewish vegan, uh, stepped in today at really the last moment and, and read a wonderful passage from Jeffrey Cohen, an article that originally appeared in a Pittsburgh journal in 2012 and brought us up to date with the Jewish testimony and the Jewish experience and how that relates to animal welfare. <laughs> Humanity is facing a critical juncture in our journey on this planet. We need to include animals as part, as fellow travelers of that journey. Interfaith and interbeing, the two are related and Gandhi picked up on that precisely in his writings and his spiritual message. Can religions really lead the way with this? Our panel in the question and answer time really left that as a kind of an open question. It's time for all of us to rise and meet that challenge together. <laughs>